It's kind of a weird story, but my husband um, was working at NYU, and one of his direct reports had a picture of a young black girl in a fencing uniform, and he was like, what is that? And, he, and she said, that's my daughter, she fences. And then she told him about the Peter Westbrook Foundation, and he, she, he, she knew he had kids, so he said, you should sign up for the waiting list. So we were on the waiting list for about a year or two before she got in, and then she fell in love with it, and the rest is sort of history. <laughs> I got in started in fencing through the Peter Westbrook Foundation. Uh, at the time, I was 12 years old, and my mom was looking for something for me to do that kept me busy, kept me off the streets, kept me grounded. And she came across the Peter Ruffin Foundation. She saw that there were a lot of positive people, a lot of positive role models in that foundation. And that's what she was looking for for me. I grew up in the housing projects in Newark, New Jersey with an African-American father and a Japanese mother. My mother introduced me to fencing and she thought that I would meet a different clientele of people. I would be exposed to different type of people, which I was. My involvement in the foundation changed everything for me because it gave me a platform and a place to meet new people and experience new things. You know, I learned how to, to, to win. Most importantly, I learned how to lose. And all the encouragement that was shown to me, it's only right that I show that same encouragement to other kids. People never tell me I was good at anything in my life except my mother. And that doesn't count. When you hear positive things about, wow, you're good, you're good. That in, in, enhanced me, that entitled me, that encouraged me. Well, let me go try to, let me, let me put a little more time into it. And luckily I did because it opened up a whole nother door. The origin of the foundation we started 33 years ago. And again, my intent, find a way to give back, to change people's life. So if I could maybe get 10 people in your organization, that would be great success. Never did I know in a million years that we have 140, 50 people every class and then two, 300 people on a wait list. And they see so many amazing people around them. They've gone to Harvard and Columbia and UPenn. So they see all these people around them as role models and they're like, I want to do that too. I want to have that kind of life. I want to have that kind of career. And they know that it comes with, both come together, so. We also have 100% high school graduation. We have an academic program and we have an after school program where people train to make Olympic team, world championship team, national teams. But this year, she will represent the United States and she's going to the Olympic Games. So give a round of applause. My involvement in the Peter Westbrook Foundation made me a better student in school. It made me a better individual. Confidence, perseverance, work ethics, and all of those qualities, I was smart enough, I don't know how, to use that to better my academics, to better myself in school, to better myself personally and everything in life. My biggest success in life is the Peter Westbrook Foundation. I always like to give back. And no matter what I give, no matter how much I give back, let me tell you something, it's never enough, never.